Hey, hello everyone. How you doing there? Brooklyn x Pack here. Hey, guess what? I'm working out here working on my bees. Just had an epiphany. It's June 23rd. I just turned 51. It's my birthday. And I just decided to retire. So I want to document me retiring and the process is going to take me 365 days to retire. So this is what I came up with. Let me finish with the bees for a minute. I got to feed my little bit of chickens. And once I get done, I'm going to take you guys through it and let y'all know what I got to do to prepare to retire. Thanks for joining. Okay, welcome back. Got to feed the chickens real quick and my ducks. So like I said, I'm going to take y'all through on what it prepares for me to get ready to retire. I think it's going to be quite interesting. It's going to be a good like. Stay with me. We got 365 days of preparation of retirement. I'm going to count it down. I'm going to walk you out through it. You're going to go with me on my journey and we're going to hey enjoy guys. ourselves. Now that I'm back, finish feeding the animals. For those who don't know me, had a small farm, consolidated. So this is a uh, what I'm going to talk to y'all about today. I'm going to give you this little disclaimer. I am no way trying to tell you what you need to do to retire, how much, you, how much money you need to retire, or anything like that. What I'm doing is I'm just doing a documentation of my life, uh, what it's going to take for me, Brooklyn Nomad, to retire in 365 days. So I'm going to take y'all through the process that I go through. I know I'm gonna have some stumbles along, along the way. I hope this be enjoyable for y'all all. So let's get into it. So this is what I was thinking while I was out there on the beach. Said, hey, because of COVID, it's time for me to retire. You know, I'm spending all this money. So what I decided to do was I sold the house, got rid of all the cars, all my toys, the motorcycles, the campers, the boats. So completely everything went down to bare bones. And then my next step is, which is going to be the journey that I take you guys on with me, is I plan on, I picked me six, again, I picked me six countries or six places. Let's go with six places that I felt that I wanted to go to and explore and figure out where did I want to live and set up roots and start my retirement process. So my six places are, in no significant order, are Colombia, Dominican Republic. Also, we got Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, and Costa Rica. That's the six that I came up with. I just threw them out there on the list. And my reasoning for it is they all hot climates and they're very affordable to live at. So, came up with that. I'm gonna be visiting these countries, seeing which one suits me, which one I vibe with best. And at the end of 364 days, I'm gonna have a home. I don't know where, so y'all can come with me and we figure it out together. You can always leave your comments, which one you think is the best, uh, the pros and the cons. I will investigate. So I hope y'all enjoy. Stay tuned. Here we go. Catch me a flight. And I think I'm going to start with the DR. That's going to be number one. And we're going to see where this takes us. See you in a little bit. Good morning there. I'm back out again. I came out here to look at some more land to see which one is best for me. So let's let's begin. Let's just jump right into it. So I have here 500, 600, five, 
563 meters. They deal in meters over here. And that's going to put me from where I just started walking all the way down so uh, to here. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So all of this wooded area to this uh, concrete. And then from the concrete, I'm going to take it. And this is, uh, I'm in Juan Dulio. And then it'll take me all the way to the back. I'm not going to walk in there yet. And as you can see, as I pan out, people are already uh, building, all right? And then when I go over here, I got another one that's uh, 600 meters, not this one right here. This is, this is not, not for sale. Um, but I'm out here with like three different lawyers, all trying to figure out what the, uh, the prices. Okay, so this one here, 600 meters, right? 600 uh, uh, from here? 600. Uh, uh, start here. Start here, finish. right. Over there. All the way over there, right? And another one, 583? Back there. Oh, uh, yeah. 583. Okay. There we are. Okay. So 583, this is 600. Takes me from here. And once you buy this land, they're going to uh, clean the whole thing out for me. Okay, so I just got to figure out the prices. So this is it. Okay, so I'll get some bulldozers. And then that's to right here. Yeah, so it's not bad. Hello there, welcome back to San Domingo. This is day four for me on my journey to find the perfect place to live in Dominican Republic. So, as I was telling you before, I've been traveling uh, Boca Chica, Juan Dulio, and Santa Domingo, looking for a place to live, finding that uh, piece of land in my dreams for retirement. So, like I said, we're gonna be on our journey on our way to Costanza this morning. It's about a two hour ride north of uh, Santiago. Um, I'm sorry, Santa Domingo, and uh, we're going towards Santa Di Santiago, but uh, it's called Costanza is where I'm gonna go to see if I find my uh, beautiful piece of land. I'm waiting on my lawyer to get here, Miss Jessica. She should be on her way any uh, minute now. She told me about 10 more minutes she should arrive. So I'm just waiting out here by the uh, coconut trees and palm trees until she gets here. And we're gonna see uh, what happens in the next uh, six to 10 months for retirement, see where it takes me, see which uh, land I pick, and where I'm gonna land, where I'm gonna live. So, thank you for uh, watching this channel, and uh, stay tuned. I'll show you once I get to Costanza. Welcome back. Miss Jessica finally showed up, my lawyer. She's, uh, she's on her way, so she should be here any now. Uh, there she goes, she's coming over. So, when she gets here, uh, here she goes Miss Jessica, when she gets here, we're going to be on our way. Hola. Hi. My name is Jessica. Are you ready, Mr. Jeff? Ah, I'm ready. All right, so we're going to go get in the car now. We're going to go to uh, Costanza. It's a two-hour drive. And we're going to see what Miss Jessica has to show me. All right? So on our journey, we'll uh, leave. We'll see you all later. So bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far, so please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. made it they're telling me this is a thousand meters I'm gonna take a look at it anybody that knows me know I love farming so here we go let's see what we got so supposed to be all this right 
Now there's two lawyers and everything. Goes all the way up to that ridge over there. And as you can see, over the top, there's doggone cows over there. So I gotta watch my step. But I guess my house, it goes, yeah, would sit right up on this hill. So, we got cows down there. It's a, uh, whew, it's a big trap all the way down there. I am on top of the doggone mountain. There would be my neighbor. And over there. This is, this would be my scenery. So, I'm gonna get ready to get with them and discuss money and price and all that other stuff. And of course, I got my translator with me too. So, all right, let's see if we're gonna do this. Oh, and as you see, a house behind me. So, be like two, three neighbors. I would just be out here by myself. How you like that? Hey guys, welcome back. As you see, I'm back from the DR now, back at home, and just like my bees, busy as a bee, can't stop working. That's why I need to retire. So I hope you like my little video today. Hope it was a little informational for you, a little informative, and thank you for uh, following me on my little journey. Brooklyn X Pack signing out. Until next time. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.